The vlog party is about to begin, and today you're getting an inside look at some incredible homes for sale in America's finest city. So let's find your perfect home. I'm Claire McKee. Welcome to On the Block. Please help me welcome my next guest, Corey Finney with Up and Dare. Corey, come on over. Hey there, Corey. Hey. I like to hug. How uh, are you? Good. Great Thanks to for see being you. here. You bet. Happy to be here. So this is exciting. We're doing it a little different. We're normally pitching listings or featuring listings rather, and we are featuring a yeah. listing today. It's your son's listing, but you're actually the builder. Yeah. So this is really exciting. We get to see a different perspective, almost like behind the scenes of what really goes into it to make the home in the state that the buyers are going to see it in today, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a different perspective. I mean, we've got, uh, got a lot of time and effort went into restoring this 1916 Craftsman. Wow. So taken. 1916, that's a lot of history yeah. here. Kind of take us through, what did you do to it? Is there anything that stayed original? Paint the picture for us. Yeah, sure. So it was originally a four bedroom, one bath and they had uh, scabbed on a, a half bath and a laundry on the deck <laughs> on the back. And so wow. um, we, we looked at the property and I had the vision of what we could do immediately, changing it to a three bedroom, uh, two bath, mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then decided by taking that laundry slash bath off the, off the deck, we were losing a main level bathroom. So we, we actually were able to put a powder room under the stairs. Which is really, really quaint, but it looks like it belongs there. Yeah. So the whole vision for the property was to reconstruct it as though it was like you walk in and it's like you're in 1916. Ooh. We kept it as authentic and as integral as we could. I love that. But then as you go into the kitchen, you have you have the feel of a, it's an open layout. It's mm -hmm. an open plan and you have the modern conveniences. So. And then it, it, we call it a hundred year old smart house. Yeah. So everything's all all smart technology and, and whatnot. Really merging the best of both worlds, right? Putting all the it charm together, and yeah. the character, but bringing it up to modern times. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, a great, it's a great project. Uh, first time I'd ever done anything to that extent. You know, normally we do yeah. newer builds or newer construction and even if it's an older home, we'll just gut it and put all new stuff in. Right. Well, we reclaimed all the wood we could, ran it through our planer, refinished it, reinstalled it. So, I mean, the, all the finishes, 88% of the finishes are original, only where we've had to add new moldings and whatnot, where we've had to use new wood. And in fact, we've tried and we've worked to reclaim some of the wood that was taken out of like, say the wall we removed. Wow. We would use the two by fours in there yes. and we'd re, Plane them to make other other I moldings and whatnot. Like really repurposing, repurposing it, using it, yeah. it every inch that you could. Yeah. We put it. We put a swing out front on the porch that's built from 104 year old wood, and then we took the lath from the outside that surrounds the house that held the shingles on for the shingle side, the cedar mm -hmm. siding, mm -hmm. and we built a, a screen garden wall in the back backyard wow. so that you can hang planters, and we call it a living wall. It's really quite unique. It's those little details that are unmatched that make a home truly special, yeah. right? And I don't think we talked about where is this located? So it's at the top of Pringle. It's not far from here. It's mm -hmm. walking from here. It's North Mission Hills. Okay. So you go up off San Diego Avenue, up Pringle, get to the right to the top, and it's the big blue home on the corner. Wow. And it's got amazing decks. We rebuilt the decks and the views are fantastic. You got shots of the bay, you got the harbor, the the, the boats, you can watch the cruise ships come in and the planes land Yeah. and uh, lots of so fireworks. Iconic. and Yeah, it was, it was really neat because once we were doing the exterior, we realized the view from the master was amazing yeah. and we didn't know that because it was all covered up and we're pulling the siding off and like, holy cow, yeah. this is amazing. So I had to change the plans and get three great big windows yeah. put into the plans. You're like back to it's the drawing board. Amazing. So oh my gosh. it's uh, and then the, the master bathroom, the master suite and the kitchen are just phenomenal. Everything about it sounds phenomenal. What's the price point we're looking at? So it's interesting you should ask because we just did a price reduction. We, okay. went, we went on the market at, at 1.8, mm -hmm. uh, knowing that it was, you know, yeah, aggressive. Yeah, at the top. Mm -hmm. um, and we've had incredible response. We've had, uh, we've had, uh, 200 people come through the first weekend for the open house. Incredible. Something else. Yeah. Um, and we, we haven't got a solid offer that we liked yet, so we actually 
dropped it today to 1599. Oh my gosh, so, that's a solid price drop. Yeah, and you're so hearing it here first, folks. How about that? Look for it, 1599. We're expecting to get now some competition. And oh yeah. Get get to where the home needs You've to be. You've opened it up to a whole new level of buyers now yeah. that I'm sure are gonna be really excited to see yeah. this masterpiece. Thank you so much for taking the time well, to come you and for share. Having me. It was really good to see you, Corey. Appreciate Thanks. It. Thanks. The block party's over, but if you have a home that you'd like to feature on the block, go to modernmedianetwork.com to submit your next listing. Who knows, you might just see us on the block. <laughs>